Today, we're going to be talking about how to change your habits. And so habits is um, something that um, we do just automatically. Most of them we do without even thinking. And so some of them may be good and some of them may be bad. So how do we get rid of those bad, nasty habits? So the first thing you're going to want to do is take it slow. So a lot of people have the mindset that they think they can achieve this, you know, in a single day. And so um, it ends up getting them absolutely nowhere. So it's best to make small yet effective um, adjustments so that you handle um, this, the change gradually. So if you're trying to say like lose weight, um, it's best to take that slow and not just go ahead and, you know, jump right in and, and start um, trying to eat really, really healthy. It's little adjustments at a time and you will end up sticking with it better than just jumping right in and trying to, I'm um, doing it like overnight. So then guys, you need to be committed and that's not as easy as it sounds. So but commitment is not only a promise that you make to yourself so that you'll be able to achieve something. So if you stay committed to um, practice good habits, then you know, the success rate is great. And so when obstacles um, come your way, which they will, you will be able to face them um, more effectively if you um, remain committed and have that positive attitude. And it will help you keep yourself focused to make that habit that you're trying to create a part of your life. So what is actually keeping you from um, developing a good habit or um, from, you know, stop doing something that's not good for you, you know, a bad habit? What's keeping you from that? Sometimes it's not the actual uh, good or bad habit itself. It's all the things that come with it. All the, the things that is attached to it that uh, makes it become a hassle to you or makes it feel like it, you know, it's just overwhelming and you just don't want to mess with it. So you just keep doing what you're doing. And then develop a support team. I mean, um, involve your friends and your family um, in, in your decision, you know, of making um, a change in your habits. They can be your biggest um, support. And um, actually, they can actually hold you accountable, too. You know, I would even ask them to if you were trying to do a specific thing, change, whether it's maybe you're trying to stop smoking or maybe you're trying to um, start a, a exercise, you know, routine. Um, tell them about it and ask them to hold you accountable. You know, that's that'll make things a lot easier. So the other thing would be careful of your um, environment and what is surrounding you. That is very important. So let's say you're trying to lose weight. And um, if you go to the refrigerator and you open it up and it's nothing in there but junk food, I mean, you've set yourself up for failure already. So um, what you surround yourself with is very, very important. And then another thing would be focus on building a routine. Um, do this every single day. Don't, don't, don't just do it every once in a while. I mean, if you're trying to develop a good habit or even quit one that's bad, you, you're you gonna have to practice on this every single day. And eventually it will become part of your life. So um, I know a lot of people that will, um, you know, start something and then, you know, it's hard. It is hard sometimes to break a habit or even to create a new one. Um, that can be a challenge but if you only work on it every once in a while, then it's not gonna work. You're gonna to have to do it every single day. So focus on building a daily routine. And then last, guys, um, don't be hard on yourself. Um, so we are our own worst enemies and critics too. And if we, we mess up, which it's, we're gonna, we're going, you may slip and it's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Um, just pick yourself back up and get yourself back on the right track and keep moving on. Um, and reward yourself. If, if you've done, you know, hey, I went through this whole week doing, you know, I'm not smoking anymore or I'm not, um, I've changed the way I'm eating and, you know, I've done this and, hey, I've exercised every single day. Whatever your habit that you're trying to either create or um, not do anymore, undo, <laughs> um, 
reward yourself. Little bitty steps, you guys. It's going to take um, some time, but you can do it. You know, I, I've said this before. We are in charge of our own thoughts, and um, we can we can do more than what we think we can. And so, guys, I encourage you to, um, if there's something that you're wanting to do, a habit that you're wanting to create, or if you're struggling with something and you want to stop doing it, then um, take that initiative and, and, and tell yourself that you can do this. You are worthy and, and you were created to do great things. And, um, you know, if you include God in every aspect of your life and have him right there with you, you know, um, cheering you on. When I said support team and I'm friends and family, that's very important. But having God with you and um, asking him to guide you and get you through this that's the best thing that you can do. It really is. And so, guys, if I can be of any help, um, please reach out to me. Um, just send me a private message. I would love to visit with you. Otherwise, guys, I will see you on Wednesday for an episode of Susie's Secret Recipes at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And next Monday for another episode of Monday Motivation at 7 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Happy trails. <laughs>